If you enjoy the content on this channel and would like to help me out with the production of more content for this channel, then please consider supporting me on Patreon, link in the description down below. Drake? What? Where's the door hole? It goes right there. See, I drew it with a magic marker. You were supposed to cut it out with the power saw. Dude, I'm gonna. Oh, really? Yes. So go get the power saw. Okay, I will. I see the problem. Oh, do ya? Hello everybody, this is Seether Cord, and welcome to another installment of my Seether Talk series here on YouTube. Today on Seether Talks, we are going to discuss something that I've never really discussed before on my channel, and that is of beverages. I am seriously running out of things to talk about on this channel. And when it comes to beverages, today we're going to be talking about energy drinks and my past addiction with them. Now, I want you guys to know I love water and I also love soda, but when it comes to energy drinks, I freaking hate them now. The reason why I'm making this video is because about two or three days ago, I had an energy drink for the first time in like six months, and it honestly was the worst experience of my life. <laughs> the reason why I had that energy drink is because I was going through a 56 hour work week in my job, and on that day, I needed some energy, so I decided, you know what, why not I have an energy drink? I haven't had one in a couple months, so I'll have one. Even though I made sure not to drink the whole can within the span of like 10 minutes, I did end up drinking it over the span of two hours, and still, I had a headache, I felt exhausted, and I just felt so bad. But let me rewind back to when I was about 14 or 15 years old, about five years ago. When I was a very young teenager, I first started drinking Monster Energy, and I was hooked on it immediately. I drank it so much. I had at least two big cans of it every day. I loved the taste of them. I loved the acidic feel it had. I just, I would drink so many, I would never really crash. And I loved it. I was hooked. But then a year into drinking them, I realized I had some anxiety problems. I was getting more stressed out at school. I was having more breakdowns or so because I have anxiety issues. And when I had to go take my medicine, they found out that um, mixing the energy drinks with the medicine really, really messes up the effects of it. Now, I'm not going to go into detail of what medicines they were, but they did end up like making me more jittery. I did end up having issues with like handling certain situations well. I was having more headaches. I just overall was doing terrible. And my parents realized that, and for about two solid years, I was not allowed to drink energy drinks under their house because of how much they would fuck with my mind. Now, fast forward to when I was about 17 or 18, um, I got back into energy drinks a little bit, not with just drinking Monster Energy, but also drinking Red Bull. The only type of energy drinks I've ever had are Monster and Red Bull. I've never really delved into like NOS or like Full Throttle, but I thought Red Bull was pretty all right too, but I never really got back into Monster until about a year ago. And I wasn't really on the level of addiction as I was back when I was 14 or 15, but I would have a Monster or a Red Bull every two or three days or so. And each time I drank it, I would always regret it because like immediately I would feel like a crash going on. I got a headache. I was feeling so bad because I would drink it so quickly and my body was already flushed out of it for two years that it just hit me like as if I got a hammer slammed on my head. And it helped me just realize more that these energy drinks are extremely bad for you. About a year ago, after getting back into them for a while, I was pretty sure I was never going to want to drink these again. I was mostly just going to stick to water and soda, and if I had ever wanted like a little energy boost from sugar, I would just get a soda, because I do like soda from time to time, I just make sure not to drink too much of it. But I stayed off energy drinks for the most part, and then fast forward to about December of last year, and I think I mentioned this to you guys already, but I've been keeping on the down low for the most part because it's kind of personal. One day within December of last year, I had drank a can of Monster and I did not have anything else to eat for the whole day. Only thing I had in my system was that can of Monster Energy. Everything was all right and dandy for the most part, but then I went to a game store and I was just checking out games for like an hour and right before I was planning to leave, 
I just noticed that like I was starting to breathe a little heavier. I was feeling a little more shaky. I was getting nervous for some reason. And next thing I knew, I just collapsed. I blacked out for a full solid second. And the next thing I knew, I was on the floor. My eyes were covered in tears. And a few minutes later, the paramedics showed up. They did some tests on me and they found that I had extremely low blood pressure and blood sugar and that I had to go to the emergency room. And that was a very, very, very alert sign that I do not need to be drinking these anymore. That was very scary for me. I pretty much avoided energy drinks at all costs up until about two or three days ago when I had another one because I needed the energy for work. And I just having that happen to me again, not like to the extent of it was in December, but having that feeling of just like being utter garbage in your system from having just an energy drink, I'm just done with them. Like if you enjoy them and it doesn't really hit you as hard as it does for me, that's fine. But just my God, like I cannot handle energy drinks anymore. There's no denying that they are bad for you. Like Monster Energy and Red Bull have been responsible for at least 20 or so deaths because people are over drinking them, which I'm not necessarily blaming Monster or Red Bull or the companies that make these energy drinks because people aren't supposed to be drinking multiple cans of them a day. But still, it is kind of a warning sign just that these things can do that to you. So if you do enjoy drinking them still, that's fine. Just know to limit yourself and make sure that you have food in your system when you drink this because it can be very dangerous. And I just know that I'm probably never going to have another energy drink again in my life. And that's all for this episode of Seath Talks for today. If you enjoyed this video and want to further help out my channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon, hitting that like button, turning on that notification bell, and subscribing altogether. I have been Seath Accord, and I will see you guys next time. So, goodbye everyone. I'm going to go take myself a little energy shot. <laughs>